बरेंद्र कुमार घोष द इंटेलेक्चुअल स्पिरिट ऑफ द इंडिपेंडेंस मूवमेंट मोर पॉपुलरली नोन एज द ब्रदर ऑफ अ लेजेंडरी फ्रीडम फाइटर और बिंदु घोष बट नो लेस इम्पॉर्टेंट बरेंद्र कुमार घोष वॉज एन इंडियन इंडिपेंडेंस फाइटर हु वॉज अ क्रिटिकल फिगर इन द बर्थ ऑफ जुगान्तर a weekly magazine that led to the formation of a revolutionary group with the same name also popularly known as Barindra Ghosh or Barin Ghosh this is the story of an intellectual journalist and rebel who gave everything to free his nation from the british tyranny that it was subjected to early life and education Barindra Kumar Ghosh was born on 5th January 1880 at Croydon situated near London to Dr Krishnadhan Ghosh and Swarna Lata the daughter of the scholar Raj Narayan Basu his ancestral village was located in Konnagar in the present day West Bengal's Hooghly district his father worked as a physician and district surgeon Barindra Ghosh had two older brothers named Aurobindo Ghosh and Manmohan Ghosh along with an older sister named Sarojini Ghosh the entire family returned to India following Barindra's birth he completed his initial schooling in the city of Deoghar in Jharkhand and later took admission in the Patna College after passing the entrance exam in the year 1901 once he finished his education he moved on to Baroda in order to receive military training there political activities from an early age Barindra Ghosh looked up to his brother Aurobindo Ghosh and admired him deeply for his spiritual as well as revolutionary thoughts and opinions it was the major factor that prompted him to get actively involved in the revolutionary political activities in his country this began with his return to kolkata in 1902 in kolkata he formed an acquaintance with jatendranath banerji a prominent figure in the independence movement who later became popular as niralamb swami with his help and support barindra ghosh began the process of organizing various revolutionary groups in bengal jugantar one of the most significant contributions of barindra ghosh was the creation of the weekly bengal paper jugantar in the year 1906 He began the publication and distribution of the weekly to spread his revolutionary thoughts and ideas to the public. This soon gave way to the creation of an equally potent revolutionary outfit known as Jugantar, also known as Yugantar. The latter was a secret armed organization that acted under the guise of a fitness club in Bengal. and was formed from the inner circles of anushilan samiti which was a front for the secret armed revolutionary groups the organization is credited with starting the practice of throwing bombs at the british people and their properties in india being one of the founding figures of the party barindra ghosh along with other members like jatendranath mukherjee or bagha jatin dealt with the active recruitment of young and spirited rebels for the party to prepare them to be armed combatants in the fight against british rule in india and to permanently eliminate the british presence from their country the residential area of maniktala in kolkata emerged as the secret meeting location for the party members who formed the manik tala group of revolutionaries in 1907 it became the site for the manufacturing of explosives along with the collection of weapons and ammunition required for their purposes alipur bomb case considered as india's first large scale state trial the case refers to the attempted assassination of the muzaffarpur chief presidency magistrate douglas h kingsford on april 30th 
also known as Manik Dala bomb conspiracy. It included two freedom fighters, Praful Lachaki and Khudi Rambos, who threw bombs at a vehicle coming out from the magistrate's house that was supposed to carry their intended target. However, Mr. Kingsford was not present in the vehicle and therefore managed to escape his own death. But the bomb attack resulted in the death of two British women. When the police tried to catch the culprits, Khudi Ram Bose was captured by them. But Praful Chaki committed suicide. The police launched an intensive investigation and as a result, a number of revolutionary fighters including Barindra Ghosh and his brother Aurobindo Ghosh were arrested by the officers on 2nd May 1908 for their part in the bomb attacks. The judge, after numerous hearings, gave the verdict in Alipur bomb case trial a year later in 1909 sentencing Barindra Ghosh and Ullaska Dutt, a bomb manufacturer, to death for their role in plotting the attack. However, this punishment was later reduced to life imprisonment due to the involvement of Deshbandhu Chittaranjan Das, resulting in the deportation of Barindra Ghosh to the Andaman Cellular Jail in 1909. Life in prison and escape. In jail, the prisoners were made to engage in various harsh physical labor. After being imprisoned for several years, Barindra Ghosh successfully became the only person to ever escape the cellular jail in the year 1915. After his escape, he hid in Puri during the Battle of Balasore. However, he was eventually captured by the police in Puri and returned to jail where he spent five years in solitary confinement. His release came from a general amnesty granted by the government in 1920, after which he returned to Kolkata and focused on his life. The 12 years he spent in prison were some of the most traumatic moments of Barindra Ghosh's life. All the physical and psychological tortures that the Indian prisoners were subjected to were later recorded by Ghosh after his release from jail in his memoir, The Tale of My Exile, 12 Years in Andamans. Life after release and death, Barindra Ghosh's journal and printing career took root after returning to Kolkata following his release from prison in 1920. It was during this time that he wrote his autobiography, The Tale of My Exile. He took a temporary break from his journalism career as he gravitated towards spiritualism, which led to his establishment of an ashram in Kolkata. In the year 1923, he went to Pondicherry to visit Aurobindo at the Sri Aurobindo Ashram formed by his brother. He again returned to Kolkata in 1929 to continue his journalism practice. In 1933, Ghosh started the English weekly known as the Dawn of India. He also worked for the newspaper The Statesman and later became the editor of Dainik Basumati, a Bengali daily in 1950. He got married during this period of his life. After sharing his intellect and penning Numerous literary articles, Barindra Kumar Ghosh passed away on 18th April 1959. Notable Works Being a prolific writer and journalist, Barindra Ghosh has produced a number of literary work during his lifetime. Some of his most well-known writings include The Tale of My Exile, Sri Aurobindo, Dvipan Torer Bonshi, Pothir Ingit and Ogni Jug, to name a few. Conclusion Although overshadowed much of the time by his brother's fame, Barindra Kumar Ghosh made a name for himself as one of the most spirited and courageous freedom fighters of India. From his brave and successful escape from prison to the books that he penned, Barindra Ghosh was a crucial part of the Indian freedom struggle. However, like several others, he too got wiped from the minds of Indians who forgot his actions and sacrifices in securing independence for his country and its people.